Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about the slope and you'll be doing 11.3. Today, students will be able to find the slope of two points. And so before we start, I'm gonna give you some definitions um, or information about what the slope is. And so in Spanish, it's called la pendiente. Okay, la pendiente. Um, and the slope is how steep a line is or, or how inclined a line is. Okay, that's what it means. So how steep the line is. And you can find it in mountains. You can find it in definitely in San Francisco when you're going up and down the street. Um, but also it represents rates and some examples of rates are miles per hour, miles per gallon, seven bananas for, for three dollars, um, gallons per minute when you're filling out a pool and so those are some examples um, where you can see the slope being used. The slope is always uh, next to x when we have y equals mx plus b. So let me write that down. You have seen it before. y equals mx plus b. So this part right here is the slope. Okay. And so these are some um, way or some information. Um, well, it's represented by M, and it's also known as rise over run. I like to think of rise as the sun rise. So if it's positive, the sun goes up. That means that you are going to move up. If it's um, negative, then the sun goes down. So it's when it's a negative, negative number in here. And then the run, you go left or right. They also say that this is the change over of y over the change of x. And finally, the formula, and it, this is what we're going to be using. The formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using to find the slope of, of the different points that we get in here. Okay, so let's start. So let's write down the first two points that we're going to have are 3, 5, and 5, 11. And so sometimes your slope is going to be positive, sometimes negative, sometimes going to be zero, and one that it's undefined. So I'm going to also be doing the graphs on the side so that you can see the difference between one and another. Um, but you don't have to do the graphs on the homework unless you would like to practice. Okay, so we're going to use the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if you recall from the previous lesson, this is x1 and y1 because that's point 0.1. And then you have x2 and y2. It's just x and y, x and y, but this is point 0.1 and this is point 0.2. That's why we have the 1s and the 2s, but those don't bring value to any, any of this, okay? So y2 minus y1, y2, that's 11, minus, minus from the formula, and then y1, which is 5, over x2, that's right here, which is 5, minus from the formula, and then x1, which is right here. And so we have 11 minus 5, that's going to be 6 over 5 minus 3, that's going to be 2. And if we simplify, 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. So this is my slope for these two points.
point. Now, if I was to graph one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm looking at the y here, and then for for x, the maximum I need is five. So one, two, three, four, five, and so three, five would be one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, somewhere around here. Then five, eleven, five, and then eleven. It's right here. So the slope. Remember that it says the change on y over the change on x. This is my y, this is my x. So change on y means that that number on top represents change on y. To get here, how many spaces do I need to go up? And since this is 5, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the change on x means how many spaces do I need to go there? So it's going to be from 3 to 5, so it's going to be 1, 2. Okay, so basically that's the slope. This is equals to 6, this is equals to 2, but 6 divided by 2 becomes 3. This also means that for every th 3 points, well, let me, if I had a um, graphing paper here I this would go so basically it also means that this three means that for every three it goes down it was one to the right so it's gonna be one two three one one two three one and you still get here and get here for the line okay so that's the slope but simplified is three okay and from this point to this point, you have that point and that point right there. And it goes 6 over 2. Okay, let's do one more. So I have here 8, 8, 3, and 6, 8. So what is the slope for, that, for those points? Oh, let me go back because I want you to, to notice something else. What's the sign for this slope? Positive, right? Positive. So positive slope. Lo siento. I'm so sorry. <laughs> positive slope gives me a positive line. Okay, positive line means that from left to right, uh, it starts going up. I told my students, it's like when you're writing a letter and some people tend to do that, like they write up. They start moving up, 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 okay? So that's positive slope, positive line. Okay, now here, let's see what kind of line we get. So the slope is again, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so y2 is right here. Let me label those. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So for those people who are visual, I tell them, oh, it's like, you know how dolphins jump? One jumps from here to here and then the other one jumps. So the jump of the dolphin. That's the order that you're gonna get them. So start here and minus that. So eight minus three over six minus eight yeah minus eight and that becomes eight take away three that's five six take away eight that's negative two and for the slope we cannot have a mixed fraction so we're just going to leave it like that okay that's as far as we can go um, because we cannot simplify this fraction and we cannot have a mixed number for a fraction for a slope okay so again y2 minus y1 a minus 3 that's 5 x2 minus x1 6 minus 8 because the number that we're subtracting is bigger we end up with a negative number and so for our 
line, you get 8, 3, and 6, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, 3 will be 8, 3, right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. Then 6, 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. Okay, what do you notice? What kind of line do we have? Well, guess what? We have negative slope. And we have a negative line. It's like when you're writing, oh, like here, I'm writing a little bit up, so that's positive. That negative will be, I should write it like that. Uh, when you're writing a letter and hello, how are you? And you're going kind of like downward, that's from left to right, you're going down, that means negative, negative line. Okay. Again, what does that mean? What am I doing here? That if this is negative, um, then this is going to be negative. Let me, I was thinking right now, so this negative can sometimes be with a 5. Or it can be written as like this with a 2. Or it can be written with a negative right in the middle also okay okay the next number I can find let me see okay so the next one is four three and four six so the formula again is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, if you don't want to do the labels, it's just start here, subtract that. And then the next one, 4 minus 4. And so, 6 minus 3 equals 3, 4 minus 4 equals 0, and what happens when you have a 0 underneath? When you divide 3 by 0, we cannot do that, because if you say the answer is 3, it's like saying 3 pieces of bread divided by 0 people, and you say 3, okay, who got those 3 pieces of bread? Doesn't make sense. If you say the answer is zero, okay, and what happens with the three pieces of bread? Okay, so it doesn't make sense. You you say this is undefined. That will be the answer. So when I have an, an exercise, something like this, that's what the answer will be, undefined slope. And for the graph, it will always be vertical, okay? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4, 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And then 4, 6 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. Okay. Again, it's... This is an undefined, undefined line or slope, okay? And that's when you have denominator zero, okay? You walk, so basically you move up three, but then you don't move to the, to the sides. That's undefined. Okay, I don't know what happens with the other... <laughs> Um, 
Okay, I'll make one on the spot right now. I'm sorry about that. And so, let's see. Let's do two, three. And then negative one, three. And so, again, my formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, if you want to do the label, is x1, y1, x2, y2. Or you can just remember to do this. 3 minus 3 over negative 1 minus 2. <clears throat> And so, 3 minus 3 will be 0. And negative 1 minus, minus 2 is negative 3. Remember that when you have two negatives, that's an addition of negatives. And so, 0 divided by any number is actually 0. So, we call this 0 slope. And guess what kind of line you're going to have. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's going to be 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, right there. Negative 1, 3, negative 1, 1, 2, 3. So, when the 0 is on the numerator, and you get a zero slope. We don't call that undefined. We call this the zero slope. So the line is a horizontal line. We don't call it zero line. Okay. Okay. Um, so let me do one more example. I'll do it in the same page because sometimes you're going to encounter something like this. What is the slope of these two points? And so again, the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this is x1, y1, x2, y2. And so the first one is, again, remember, so it's negative 5 minus from the formula. And then y1 is negative 2. So when we have a negative in here, we end up with two negatives in here. So negative from the formula and then negative 2. Okay, and then in here for x2 minus x1, so we get 2 minus from the formula, and then we get a negative 1 for x1. Okay, so again, basically this is this part right here, and this is this right here. And since we have a negative in here, that's why we have negative for the 2, and negative for one, we have negative in here. Okay, so we have to be very careful when we have um, negatives going on. And if you recall, a negative times a negative becomes a positive. And so the same thing here. Sometimes you will have only one, not that, not both of them. Um, but that becomes plus. Okay, yeah. Now this is positive. And so we have negative five plus 2 becomes negative 3 and then 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and so now we simplify negative divided by positive becomes negative and 3 divided by 3 equals 1 okay so that's it for today um, I hope you enjoyed and